Welcome back to the Suncoast Magazine. Great pleasure right now to welcome uh, one of my favorite actresses, and I'm sure one of yours, too. You all know her from her work on TV, Knott's Landing, and all sorts of uh, TV shows, movies. Uh, Donna Mills joining us by telephone, who's uh, going to be in a new movie, which uh, is going to air, or actually start airing, uh, this week on the Hallmark Channel. We're going to find all about it. Donna, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing great. Yeah, good to talk to you. I've always enjoyed your work, and great fun to be able to talk to you for a couple of minutes. Thank you very much. Are you out in L.A. today? or? I am. Yes, so, oh, it's early. In Tampa, right? We're, we're, yeah, a little south of Tampa, Sarasota, Tampa Bay area. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. My, my dad used to live there. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So I've been there many times. It's a very nice place. Great, great, great arts town uh, for yeah. theater, and, and they love movies and, and all those kind of yeah. things. Yeah. So, well, this is kind of a fun movie you're doing, just kind of reading through a little bit, uh, uh, kind of an old-fashioned romantic comedy, right? It is. It's a romantic comedy about divorce. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. <laughs> it may not seem, you know, like that's the way it should be, but um, it is, and it's, it's very uh, nice, sweet movie. Um, you know, on the Hallmark Channel, they they present programming that the whole family can watch, and uh, this is one of those kind of things. But it's a, it's a movie that has a little bit of bite to it, because it is about divorce, and um, Barry Boswick and I play uh, a couple who've been married for 30 years and uh, are getting a divorce. But our, our representatives, our lawyers, are... Um, are falling in love and don't know that they're uh, representing opposite sides of a divorce. Hmm. Kind of like uh, Reverse Adam's Rib. Remember that movie? Yes. Long time. Yes. Kind of in that same vein. That that type of movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that's great. Yeah. yeah. And it's it's very it's very nice. And you know it, it it addresses a little bit about how people rush into divorce sometimes and how the lawyers exacerbate the situation mm-hmm. rather than you know making it better. Um, so, you know, it's, it's cute in that way. It's really nice. It's called Love is a Four-Letter Word. I don't think we gave the title yet. And it starts airing on February 3rd on the Hallmark right. Channel. And they'll probably repeat it a few times, I guess, throughout yeah. the month, right? Yes, they do. I, 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 it's 9, eight cent- 9 Eastern Time, 8 Central Time uh, on uh, Saturday night. And then I think it, it runs again at 11 or something like that the same night. And then, uh, again, I guess, I don't know when. Working with Barry Bostrick, had you worked with him before? I had not, and Barry and I have been friends for a long time. We were neighbors a long time ago, mm-hmm. and uh, it was really nice. And one of the things that I, I loved about doing the movie was working with Barry, because all this time we've known each other, we never um, had worked together. And uh, I think it, it added to our reality as a, you know, a couple that's supposed to have been married for 30 years, having known each other that long, we, uh, we were really, uh, had some history and some chemistry. That's interesting. I, was, I always wanted to know, and, and, and you've done, uh, uh, like, Knott's Landing and shows where you, you have to do uh, romantic scenes with uh, actors. If you don't know the actor, is that difficult, like, the first time you have to do those kind of scenes, if you don't have any uh, friendship history before that? Well, yeah. You know, it, it is. It happens so. It happens so many times, though. I mean, you, you know, you'd be doing your most intimate scene, and it's the first scene you do with a person, <laughs> or something like that. It happens all the time, and it is. It is difficult, but you know, as an actor, you just kind of have to put that out of your mind and uh, you know uh, address your character and uh, and go at it that way. So, uh, so this was very nice having known him for a while. Yeah, you have to make it look like you've known each other for years. Even though you had this with Barry, but other actors, you, you make it look like you have that history. That, that, yeah. That's where the acting comes in, doesn't yes, it? Yes, exactly. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's what we do. And Marriott Hartley also in it. She's a, a great actress, a favorite she's, also. She's lovely. I've known her for a long time, too. She's really lovely. And Terry Polo and Robert Mailhouse, were, they're just adorable in the movie. They're so um, fresh and lovely. It was, the whole cast is lovely, and it, it's a really nice movie. I showed it to my daughter, and uh, who's only twelve, but she loved it. She yeah. absolutely loved it, and she doesn't like to see me that much in movies. <laughs> <laughs> You, you talk about a family movie. We had uh, Tom Sullivan on uh, recently, and he made the same comment. Uh, he's writing uh, books, uh, kind of family-oriented books. And you don't see that, unfortunately, on, on the major networks as much, and, and it's good that these uh, cable channels are, are providing at least some of that old-fashioned family kind of movies, right? Well, I think it is because I think there's a great need for it out there. Many, many people are looking for for movies that they can just enjoy, not have to worry if their kids walk into the room or if their kids are watching it with them. 
and just for themselves. They don't want to see violence. They don't want to see things that, you know, they f that go against their moral code. So I think it's really uh, a niche that uh, Hallmark has been very successful with and I think is a, it has a great need on television. Yeah, it's one of the really one of those class channels that uh, that provides yeah. those those kind of shows and and yeah. it, and it's missing from. I'm nothing wrong with some of the other shows on, but you, you want to have that balance. And yes. Good to yeah. have that back. And it's nice to have some place to go where you know that's what you're going to get. And you, you've done a lot of uh, producing as well as acting. Is this one of your uh, Donna Mills productions, or do we just uh, hired hand on this one? <laughs> hired hand on this one. No, I didn't, uh, I, I didn't have anything to do with the production. I haven't produced for a couple of years now, mainly because the, the, um, the networks, which is where I did all my uh, movies that I produced, uh, stopped doing uh, movies for television, basically. Mm -hmm. I mean, CBS used to do 60 movies a year, and now I think they do maybe six. Right. Um, so it, there's just not as much a market for it anymore. But, uh, um, you know, I may start again, because I think there's... Uh, I did a lot of issue-oriented movies, and I think I uh, think there's still some room to do that. That's great. Yeah, I think uh, I think TV needs it, and, uh, yeah. and talents like yourself uh, still out there. You should uh, they should give a place for because people want to watch it. You know. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I know you did one uh, Knott's Landing reunion. Uh, is there any more in the in the works? <laughs> well, not that I know of. But you know, <laughs> they don't usually tell me about these things until the last minute. Right. So, uh, but everyone asks. It's really funny. We've already done two, and um, oh, you've done two. Okay. Yeah. yeah uh, but they were the kind of reunions where you just show clips and the actors talk about them and stuff like that. You know, I think what we should do is a well, we did a reunion mini series actually, where it was scripted and you know it was an actual movie. It was like a mini series; it was four hours. Mm -hmm. But I, that was quite a few years ago. I think uh, you know it might be fun to do one where you find out where the characters are now. That show isn't that the longest running of a syndicate, uh, not syndicated, but uh, dramatic series. Now I think you, you you beat Dallas, didn't you? As far well, as yes. episodes, yeah, it was, sure. It was the, its second longest running uh, after Gunsmoke. After Gunsmoke, okay. Yeah, Gunsmoke yeah. was the first, then Knots, and uh, I don't think anything's come close since. It was fourteen years. Right. So you know that's that's quite a run, and it's amazing to me. But people still love to watch it on the soap net. And, uh, you know, uh, they watch it over and over and over again. It's, it's amazing to me, but they, they really love it, and it had a very, very loyal audience. Really did, and and people forget it was a spinoff from Dallas, but uh, it, it was it was its own entity, so it, it became its own uh, creation. But uh, people forgot it was, it was actually spin. I guess the one of the sisters, right, uh, from Dallas. Yes, but uh, actually, David Jacobs created it before he created Dallas. Is that right? Yeah, and and couldn't sell it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so then he created Dallas, sold Dallas, and then I guess, uh, you know, because that was successful, then they went back and they said, well, maybe that not landing thing would be good. And, uh, they, and some of the characters crossed over, mm -hmm. you know, back and forth. J.R. and, you know, a couple of others uh, went back and forth. So, um, it, but it was a, uh, but it ran, uh, I think, two or three years longer than Dallas. I think it did. Yeah, we have a little Dallas connection down here. Audrey Landers lives in our area, so I have a, oh, right. a chance to talk to her, and, yeah. and she told us some great stories about uh, working with Larry Hagman. I'm sure uh, you have a few, if you want to share one. Or <laughs> well, you know, I worked with Larry before Dallas. I worked with Larry on a series called The Good Life. That's right. That's it right. Was, uh, just a, it was only on TV for a year, but it was with David Wayne and Hermione Badley and Larry and I, and uh, comedy, half-hour comedy. It was a, a delightful show, but it was on opposite all in the family, uh. so it didn't last too long. But, uh, yes, Larry's a character. <laughs> That's what I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We'll save that for another interview. He, plenty of stories about him, I'm sure. <laughs> yes. yes, indeed. Well, Don, I know you're on one of those uh, busy radio TV tours today. want to uh, thank you for joining us again. The name of the movie is uh, Love is a Four-Letter Word, and it airs uh, starting on February 3rd on the Hallmark Channel. And uh, that's uh, it'll be aired a few times after that, but uh, that's the premiere. And uh, a big, big fan of yours, and I'm glad you could join us today. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice to talk to you. Donna Mills, our guest, will be right back.